Hi, fourth graders. So we are gonna be starting our first project of the school year. We already looked at some artwork by the Miami-based artist, Jen Stark. Can you all say Jen Stark? Great. And we are gonna be making a mural inspired by her by making our own drips. We are going to be working with analogous colors, which should be a review for most of you. And we are gonna get some um, little worksheets to help us remember what those colors are. But before we get to the colors, how we're gonna first start is we're gonna write our name and our art code, whatever that might be. Then we are gonna turn our paper over and if you notice, I'm holding the paper tall like a tower or vertical. You're gonna take the bottom and you're gonna go up to the top and fold it. Then you are going to open it up. And this line is going to be where you can't pass. You're gonna understand what I mean in a second. We are gonna be making a wavy line that kind of comes down and dips in different parts. And you're gonna have to make sure that it's four fingers apart. You also don't want it to stop at the same um, part. You want it to look kind of fluid, like dripping paint. So I might wanna start up here and I have to check that it's four fingers apart. I could put a little dot there. And then I can't go up above this. I have to stay close to that. Then I can drip down and it's about four fingers apart. Then I can come down again, but it shouldn't be the same as any other dips. And then I'll come down again and maybe I'll go off the page. Once you're done with that, then you're going to create the concentric waves around it. So you're basically gonna do the same type of line over and over and over again. So when we're doing that, we don't want the lines to be too skinny. We want it to be three fingers apart. So I can show you, I'm going down and up and I'm just following what I have, but I'm gonna check that it's two, that it's three fingers apart. And if it's not, like this is a little skinny, I can open it up a little bit. Or if it's just one spot, that's okay. Now I'm gonna do the same up here. And now when I get to the top, I might just come off the page a little bit. Now you might wanna check to see it's four fingers apart. You should have about one, two, three, four drips. We shouldn't really have too many more than that if you're actually doing four fingers apart. And you should have, let's say one, two, three, maybe four lines going at the top. Once you're all done with that, then you'll be ready for some now, I color. tested some of these colors out. We're gonna be using uh, temper sticks, which many of you have used before. And you are going to pick analogous colors that you want to use for your design. You can use up to four, but you don't have to use all four. You could just use three and you can repeat it. So analogous colors are colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. They also have one tertiary color in between. So green, blue, green, blue, blue, violet, violet. You can do a few of those, like the first four this way or the first four this way, three this way or the first three this way, or you could do all four. The only one that I don't suggest doing together is this one because it doesn't really flow. I would either just do the three or the three, but you can decide on your colors. You could check in with me. I tested them out to show you that these are paint sticks so you can overlap colors to get your tertiary color. So I got blue green by just mixing blue and green together. So that's up to you. I'm gonna show you just one that I'm gonna pick. I might, um, maybe I'll do this one. And over here, even though pink is not on the color wheel, you can use it if you wanna stay in the red, violet, red family. We could kind of throw a pink in there too, even though that's not on the sheet. So I'm gonna get started. We're not gonna get to finish all of this today. Some of you might not even get to color today, and that's okay. Next class, we'll continue coloring, finish it, and we'll be able to cut so it. When I start to add the color, if I was gonna do, um, looking at my sheet, I wanna do green, yellow, green, and yellow. 
I could even get a lighter green, which might work nice when I'm making the yellow green. And I'm gonna decide which color I'm gonna start with. We are not coloring here. If it helps, you can cross it out so that you remember not to color over there. And the first one I'm gonna do is green. And when you're using these, roll it up just a little bit. I like to outline where I'm gonna color because then I can color a little faster and still stay in the lines. So once I have that, now I know this whole thing, I'm just gonna fill in with green. You don't have to push down that hard because that will smash them. And if they're not working or they're dry, just let me know and I will check in and see if they need to be replaced. I'm just coloring over that green with this yellow and mixing it in a little bit. You could even use your finger if you want to blend it. And that's gonna give me that yellow green. Now this might be all you get done today. And next time we'll finish doing the color and we'll be able to cut it out.